In today's video, find out which new developments will enhance both the security and the performance of the Dash network. Also, find out which exchange based in Asia will help Dash infiltrate the Asian markets. Plus, so much more, so don't go anywhere. Welcome to the Dash News Recap. My name is Heidi and this video is dedicated to keeping you up to date on all of the recent Dash News highlights. Links to all of these news stories can be found down below in the video description. So let's get started. Well, it's been a busy week for Dash as usual and with that comes lots of new developments. So let's see what has been happening in the world of Dash. Dash recently activated DIP0006, which brings DKG, also known as Distributed Key Generation, to enable the formation of long-living masternode quorums, or LLMQs, that enhance the performance and scalability of the network. The DKG protocol will enable the Dash network to advance beyond the short-living and small 10 members, quorums, that have been used for instant send and masternode voting that do not scale very well since the network fully propagates one vote per quorum member. This will also enable proof of service, which will ensure the masternodes are up and available to participate in LLMQs and thus providing value to the network. Proof of service will employ a scoring system to incentivize masternodes with the risk being that if they fall too low, they may not get paid rewards. Blockchair, which provides blockchain data and analytics, shows that Dash consistently has a low percentage of non-monetary outputs on its network. Blockchair clarified that non-monetary outputs are null data outputs, which ordinarily are not used to transfer value. Dash has consistently remained around 1% non-monetary outputs and only going to a max of 2% in early August of 2016. This compares to Bitcoin largely staying under 5% until March of 2019, where it had drastically increased to 15% and Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV hovering around 25% the last three months with a peak of 41 and 42% respectively. While it is hard to judge the use of decentralized networks, the data sheds insights on Dash being one of the most heavily used cryptocurrencies to actually transact value to be used as money. If you thought those developments were exciting, keep on watching because there have been lots of new platforms and services that have integrated Dash lately. Big One, which has around $13 million USD in trading volume, will be adding Dash with a BTC and USDT pair to simulate a fiat pairing. The integration was possible thanks to the work of Dash Embassy Thailand, a local DAO-funded organization. Asia has had mixed environments for cryptocurrencies since a few government crackdowns in the 2017 boom, only now to become more lenient with customers and investors rushing back into markets. Crypto Buyer has installed Panama's 11th cryptocurrency ATM at the WIFIX smartphone store inside the JW Marriott Hotel located in the capital, Panama City. The ATM is only one way and allows purchases of Dash, Bitcoin, and Litecoin up to 500 USD per day without any KYC or AML requirements. Additionally, the WIFIX store has also adopted crypto buyers point of sale service to accept cryptocurrencies. The growing presence of cryptocurrency ATMs across Latin America and the migrant regions within the United States, along with direct merchant adoption, is a sign that the cryptocurrency remittance market is growing. Lastly, let's take a look at some of the recent media highlights featuring Dash. If you haven't checked these out yet, I highly suggest that you do. The Dash LATAM team held another consumer adoption event in the city of Cucuta, Colombia, right next to the border with Venezuela, on May 31st. 89 people attended. Dash has now more than 80 Dash accepting merchants in the city of Cucuta. Here's a video from the Dash Thailand team at a merchant in Bangkok's super popular W Market buying pizza with Dash. Now, this is just one of the many businesses in Bangkok that accept Dash as a method of payment. Thank you for watching this episode of the Dash News Recap. I hope that you found this video to be informative 
And as always, links to all of these news stories can be found down below in the video description. I look forward to reading your comments down below. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It's bye for now. But as always, stay dashy.